How is everybody doing? It's your boy Flip Kiki here, and welcome to week three of the HDL. Now, before you skip the team builder, this is a very, very important week. Don't skip the team builder, or else a lot of the battle is not going to make sense. Or don't skip the first part of the team builder, okay? We are playing Hylian this week. A lot of things going into this game, okay? He took my fucking Charizards. He took my fucking TCG luck. I'm holding his Charizard as collateral. If I beat him, I keep the Charizard. If he beats me, the Charizard's gone. And I'm probably dropping it for, like, Typhlosion. That's probably what's going to happen. I have not played Hylian since week two, or week eight of season two, as you can see. Um, because he dropped in season three before I could play him. So it's been a while since we've played. And we, we've just been talking smack a lot before this game. So th this is just, this is a big game. But on top of that, Hylian loves ferrothorn he did not draft ferrothorn this season because it didn't fit into his draft plans but spooks has requested an fa transaction for ferrothorn after 5 0 sev so in order for hylian to be able to get this ferrothorn hylian wants it as well he needs to 6 0 me he needs to beat me 5 or 6 0 to have a higher differential than spooks to get priority for that ferrothorn so He's going to try and beat me 5-0, and I'm going to try and sweep him with the Choice Scarf Solar Power Charizard. That's about all you need to know, lore-wise. So if you could skip, so if you want to skip, you go to the timestamp now. But I really think that, that that part's important to say out front, because <laughs> this is a fair, it's going to be a very fun week. There's been a lot of smack being talked, a lot of people are going to be watching this game. So I decided to bring some interesting shit. Mainly, Solar Power, Choice Scarf, Charizard. Um... It has enough speed to outspeed what it needs to outspeed. The problem with Hylian's team is that he has all stuff over base 100 and then all stuff under base 50. So all my mid-speed mons had no options. Like, it was just really fucking weird. So, apologies. I'm a little stuffy right now. But Charizard is our main sweeper. Uh, sweeper or just damage dealer because we have Heat Rock Bronzong uh, ready to, you know, set the sun. But Charizard's going to come in at any given point with its Scarf, click Solar Beam, Fire Blast, Scorching Sensor, Air Slash, and hope something goes away. Uh, solar Power, if you don't know, boosts its special attack by 1.5. It gives Charizard specs, uh, but it loses 1 eighth of its mass HP per turn, which is why we're bringing Basic Bitch Wish Passing Autono again. However, um, it's got Choppleberry this time instead of Leftovers. Because I think Choppleberry is a little bit more useful, especially against Zera Aura. I remember playing in the TC, if you remember, in the TC playing against an Autono. I don't think you guys saw that. I didn't really record that. It was a week in the middle of the season. But I had to play against an Autono. And the big problem with Autono was I didn't couldn't reliably hit it with Zera Aura because of Chopple. Like, it could switch into Zera Aura for free because it had Chopple. Zera Aura could, couldn't click CC on it, really. And it would threaten to knock off or a Toxic because it was max defense, max HP. So, that's what I'm running with this Autono. He can switch in a lot of his team neutrally, especially since he doesn't have a fighting type. Uh, Hylian does not have a fighting type, which means Audino can be switching in at whim because all he's going to be hitting me with is non-stab fighting type moves compared to stab fighting type moves. That's why I have Choppleberry to mitigate that, even if he tries to hit me with a powerful one. And Audino should be able to switch in and out freely because he does not have a fly or not have a fighting type. Um, that's where Specshare comes in. Uh, if you look at his team, Hylian has a single ghost immunity and not one resist. He's he's afraid of this Charizard because he knows I'm bringing it. What he should be afraid of is this. This Spectrier disrespects his entire team. Um, I wish I could run it modest, but Spectrier is beefy enough to live a knockoff from his Zera Aura because Zera Aura is weak as fuck. So, I want to be able to outspeed certain things after this thing is potentially knocked off. So, I have the speed on it. It's a caution. But, the Grim Nay will make up for it. And it's 145 base special attack anyway. And because he doesn't have any resists, I really don't have to worry about breaking through a Tuco. This thing Tuco's everything on his team if it's not built with Spadef. So, this thing, <laughs> this thing is my very clear win con. Like, this thing just punches holes. He has no resist for it and is only switching his dodrio he has to bring this dodrio like if he doesn't bring this dodrio he loses because he doesn't have anything 
Perspectrier. He has nothing. He has no switch ins. He has to run something to solve this. So I know probably for a fact Dodrio is coming and something is going to be Assault Vest. So Spectrier really helping again this week in prep. Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet, Garchomp. This is my main Zero Aura switch in. Uh, this also switches in on a bunch of other things. Also mainly the Dodrio. Uh, it's also my Toxic and Rock Setter. It's it's more of a beefier chomp. Max HP, a lot of, a lot of defense. I'm just through the rest of the attack. Uh, pretty pretty liberal on my creeps this week as well i'm doing like 12 point creeps because hylian has the potential to run weird speed tiers and like run run slow scarfers with those 50s especially like scarf don fan or like scarf alolan executor or something he has the potential to do that so i'm just gonna mitigate that if he tries to eight creep me i'm just running 12 because that's something he would do uh nothing really too special about this guard chop just rocky helmet rough skin guard chop spreading around the chip because with that chip it turns Spectrier's two Kos into Okos, and that's exactly what I want. I want this Garchomp to be passing around as much damage as possible. I want this to be passing around as much damage as possible. And I want this to be passing around as much damage as possible. So this just cleans. Because this outspeeds everything if he's not running a Scarfer. So that's really the entire game plan. He's afraid of this when he should be afraid of this. Uh, back to the Bronzong, though. Heavy Slam, Grass Knight, EQ. <laughs> to be fair, Bronzong is my main Diancy switching regardless. So I have Heavy Slam to scare it out. Grass Knot is mainly for Donphan. Because Donphan, Donphan might try and come in to see if I'm heat proof or not. Or if I'm heavy metal for some reason. I have Grass Knot for Donphan if he tries to do anything funny. It's also for Slow King. And then I have EQ for Salazzle. That's really it. This should be able to, because Max Bidef, this should be able to live one thing from Salazzle. Uh, it's also crept to outspeed, I believe, Slowbro. Or it's some base 35 that's meant to outcreep. Um, also, you know, like weird fire punches or something from Zero Aura. Air Earthquake's also for Zero Aura. Uh, especially defensive, though. Hopefully, Auto Note is in a sack this time. It's going to be passing a lot of wishes, I hope. Uh, B Drill, I think, is the same exact moveset as last week. Uh, just crept similarly. Um. I'm not really scared about Excelgor outspeeding my Mega Beedrill because what is Excelgor going to do? Nothing. So, that's fine. Oh no, I should honestly just go for a speed tie because they're, they're both 145. So, there's no point in trying to outspeed Zara Aura like when I could do it anyway, speed tying the Excelgor. It doesn't really matter. All things considered, so I'll just go for speed tying the Excelgor. I was a little bit of a mishap on my part that could have actually been annoying because i'm pretty sure excelgor gets like extra sensory or like some weird move that beedrill would not appreciate getting hit with so big dick b same moves as last week just doing normal mega beedrill things he's just here gonna, gonna click some buttons charizard again this might be the only time we ever use this charizard uh but this i i literally am forced on this set i want this is the only set i really wanted to use this week um I like the coverage on Bronzong. Garchomp Rocky Helmet is a proper bring here. And this stupid Choice Scarf Spectre is going to make his life absolute fucking hell. But that's really it. Nothing really else much to say. His speed tiers are weird. He might bring Trick Room. If he brings Trick Room, that'd be very interesting. However, I don't know if it's in his best interest because he really just has to deal with the Spectre. So if he predicts Scarf Spectre and brings Trick Room, good on him. But if he's not anticipating a Scarf Spectrier when he doesn't have a single Ghost Resist, then he's throwing. Hopefully, we win. If we don't, we get a Typhlosion out of it. Either way, let's get into the battle. All right, all right, all right. We are here. We are here. We got the Ace Attorney remix music going on in the background. And he didn't bring Dodrio. What is he doing? His only Ghost Resist. Um... That's, well, let's just look at this. Not a resist, not a resist, not a resist, weak, not a resist, and not a resist. Um, if none of this is, if none of this is AV, this could potentially be AV Slow King, but like, what if my Spectre is plus one? Like, what are you going to do? So, Spectre is quite honestly the win con, like not even close to win con. Um, good thing I have Bronzong for Mega Diancy. Do I see him leading though? I mean, he likes to lead Donphan. What I'm scared of is I don't particularly have anything to seriously threaten Don Fan, like, off the rip, right? So I could lead Audino to Toxic or knock him off. 
Um, I have Garchomp as well. We could trade rocks. I'm now realizing I didn't bring removal. Fuck. I didn't bring removal. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait. I'm just realizing now I didn't bring removal. Uh, Don Fan could set up rocks for free. Completely for free. Uh, shit. Yeah, he could just set up rocks for free with... With Don Fan. Um... I might have to lead Bronze on here and threaten him with Grass Knot. I have to lead Bronze on because okay, no, he led Zara. Okay. That's fine, I think. Um I mean, he can threaten Zong with a knock with Zara. But I also have EQ. I shouldn't have run this calm. Um I have EQ to threaten the two co, but I could just go chump right now. Um, this is a very clear knockoff, though. Like, if this is this is obvious knockoff. Uh, he kind of just gets a free knock turn one here. Uh, I think the least valuable item is the heat rock, but I take a lot of damage if I do that. Um, do I just threaten the EQ? Did I just get EQ chip on Zara? Because it really doesn't have any clericness going on here. Um, especially if he sees I have EQ, I can go back in the auto no. Bronzong can get at least one switch in. Huh. This is a knock, turn one. And I don't want to lose Chomp's Rocky Helmet this early. So. I just click EQ on this. Yeah. The knock was very obvious there. Uh, 50%. That seems about right. What it said it would do. Yeah. So it's just normal Zara with no bulk involved. Um, it's kind of normal. Uh, I could click it again. That's honestly risking something though. Uh, because, I mean, I don't have the item anymore. But, yeah. Uh, I go hard auto know now. To be honest... Huh. Does he click knock again? I feel like... Uh... Nah, he tries to, uh... He tries to Volt Switch here on Chomp, I think. Yeah, he doesn't, like... He knows I'm not staying in, so his play should be to Volt Switch. Or he could just knock again. Um, that also did 55%. Let me check if that's banded. It's not banded. That's just, that's normal. I don't know what item the Zara is. Will he knock again is the question. I go chomp. I'm going to have to somehow find this way to get this in. I have to get Autono in on Diancie. Get a wish off to get this to switch into Diancie. Sadly, the Heat Rocks knock off. It's whatever. The sun will get up eventually. And even if the sun doesn't get up... Uh, Zard is still scarfed, right? So, that's really all I care about, I'm going to be honest. RIP to the Heat Rock, though. Eileen's got a... Tr He's got a pick here. <sighs> is that the play? Because he could try and double back into, like, Glastrier if he really wanted to. And if he does do that, that's rough. I mean, I have Audino, I guess. Or Zard. Now, if I go, I go Chomp here. I, th I think he's weighing some type of options here. Or he's weighing what this calc is i'm not stupid enough to stay in on this though his play is most his play should be either clicking knock again or volt switching i'm gonna go chomp i'm gonna go chomp because his removal is dom fan if i'm being completely honest oh he went dom fan okay now the question is do i need to just attack this thing Because he has Ice Shard, but that's not going to do anything to my, uh, to my Garchomp. Um, I, th I think he's going to get Rocks up for free. As much as I don't like, as much as I don't like that, I think it's going to happen. Um, I could Toxic him now when he goes for Rocks. 
or he could but i don't want to take an ice shard on my garchomp if i don't want if i don't need to you know um so i think i have to go autono here as much as i don't want to um is he either clicking rocks or ice shard this turn rocks are bad because i didn't bring removal at all i probably should have just brought it on bronzong uh ice shard would suck and i could just either knock it off or toxic it next turn because auto is max defense i have to go auto no i think yeah auto knows the better play here i'm not going to cancel it because he has the ice shard or rocks um if he doesn't click rocks he'll get knocked off or toxic i don't really care about the domfans item um eject pack superpower don fan good thing i had chopple though or else that would have taken so much damage heat though that's some heat set that's a heat set that was a heat set eject pack superpower is heat is this not rocks then it might still be rocks, but what is he going on now? Zara Aura? If he doesn't go Zara Aura, that tells me Zara Aura doesn't have CC. Um, this is okay. This got really interesting now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do here because Bronzong's very chipped, but I can switch Bronzong into anything. Is the thing. So I go for Wish next turn, no matter what. Because Arno should be able to live anything at 73 HP. I'm gonna just going to put Autono into 73 HP in the calc right now. Autono should be able to live anything. Like, Diancie. Yeah. Like, Autono lives anything and passes the wish to Bronzong. Because then Bronzong switches in on anything as well. If he's smart here, he goes Spirit Tomb. Well, at least from my perspective, he goes Spirit Tomb. So I need to heal Bronzong back up. I could also do it to get Chomping on something. Slowking. Uh, do I knock this off first? Oh no, this is about to set Trick Room up. This is about to set Trick Room up. Yep, Trick Room. Dragon Tail. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Uh. Excuse me. Dragon Tail. What do you think I was switching into there? I should have knocked it off at that point, but it's whatever. I thought he was gonna set up Trick Room, and if he got up Trick Room for free, he can go into Glass Shear for free. Not happening. We're going hard bronze on here to pick up this wish. Can't get chipped too much. Autono is going to come back in refreshed, correct? Because it's regenerator. Good. I was worried I didn't make a regenerator. Autono is regenerator, so it's going to come in at full, which is good. Bronzong's going to catch this fat wish and be replenished. Um, does he click flamethrower here? Does he bring? Did he bring flamethrower? Is he off? Is he physical slow king? Does Bronzong live a flamethrower switch in? I don't know. All I know is that Bronzong clicks the sun next turn, actually, and I go hard Charizard. Because this thing does not want to catch a solar beam in the sun. Highly, he's taking a long time to make his choices. I thought I took a long time. I quite honestly forgot Donphan got superpower. He's taking a really long time. There's going to be a lot of cuts with this waiting. Because goddamn. He's taking a long time. Rongzong comes in. Glass tree here. Bad switch for Hylian. <laughs> That's an unfortunate switch for him. What moves does Glass tree get? I'm just going to look this up. Because... Like... What moves can this thing run? Nothing I should be afraid of on a Garchomp? Or nothing I should be afraid of on a Charizard? 
Sounds good to me. Actually, wait, before I get my head myself, he might get scared, to be quite honest. Um, Heavy Slam does nothing to this thing, though. Right? So what does he go into? Back into Donphan? Which, in that case, I'm not scared, because I have Zard. And I have Solar Beam. Now, do I grass nut this, this Don fan on the Switch right now? That would be ballsy. What I need to see is if Don fan or if Zard can kill Don fan with a solar beam. Yep, it does. Yep, okay. I click Sunny Day. So I click Sunny Day here, go hard Zard. What are you doing? Sun is now up. Charizard is not going to take any damage if he clicks a water move here. Well, before I get ahead of myself, Sun is up. Zard is a free switch in, I think, right? How's Zard do against Slow King? <sighs> Solar Beam does jack shit. Spec is low key a better switch here. Yeah, this is this is like boots sp max spadef Slow King. It's going to be a little bit annoying. Because <sighs> Zard can't kill this. Um, Sun is up. So Scald's, Scald's doing jack shit to Spectrier. And Spectrier can 2-co it. If it's not max Spadef. So Spectrier is a safe switch in. Spectrier is the safer switch in actually in this case. He's going to expect Zard. But Spectrier is the safer switch in. 100%. Unless he clicks Strip Groom here. But Spectre is actually the safer switch in here. Because he's going to expect Zard. He, but Zard, in all honesty, can't kill this. Um, <coughs> so, it's actually safer to just go hard Spectre here. Music is bumping, though. I hope you guys can hear it. Maybe it'd be... Maybe it's too loud. I have no clue. But Hylian is taking so unbelievably long. It's turn 7 and it's already been 15 minutes. Each turn is taking like 2 whole minutes. My safer play Spectrier. Because Spectrier 2 codes anything on this team. Or at least it should. Expect, except maybe Spirit 2. If it's Spadef. So we'll see. Oh, he went Spirit 2. Um, see, now we have the problem. Oh, uh, so this is like Spirit Tomb in. Banded Spirit Tomb is scary. Banded Spirit Tomb is actually frightening. Hold on. Banded Spirit Tomb, please calm down. Wait, why are these calcs so wild? I have to go back into Ogno. I think. I have to go back to Audino or I go to Garchomp here. If he's clicking like Poltergeist, that's rough. Or I could go Audino to knock him off and Toxic him. What's my better play here? Thankfully, Zara Aura is already chipped to the 50%. That's good chip on Zara. Everything else has no chip. Uh. Not going to lose my Spectre like this. Not going to lose my Wincon like this. It's really, am I going Garchomp or am I going Audino? Audino is probably the safer play, all things considered. But I want ship from Garchomp on whatever this thing's clicking. Safer play is Audino, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to assume banned. He, this might be a double switch type thing where he thinks I'm going to bring in Audino and then he brings in, like, Donphan. Or he tries to bring in something. He might be double switching here. I could call his bluff on the double switch. But I could also just go Garchomp, right? Poltergeist does up to 53%. But I outspeed. And it's going to take Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin Chip. So it's going to be heavily chipped. And if it does that much damage, I know he's banded. And I can just go to Auto Know the next turn. So I'm going to go Garchomp. Pursuit! That might be Banded Pursuit. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's got Pursuit. Good thing I put HP on my fucking Spectrier. Holy shit. 
Um, that should have killed me. That should have killed it if it was banned. So I know it's not banned. Alright, I know it's not banned. This is a nice toxic on anything that comes in. This is a nice toxic on anything now, which is really good. Not gonna even mess around with rocks. Most of his team doesn't care for them anyways. And I don't want to give Don Fan a reason to come in and click its own rocks. So I'm this is a nice chillin' toxic. Spectrier is gonna have to actually clean now. So Spectrier is going to have to pick off something that's weak and clean, which is upsetting. But that's just good, that's just good prep on him bringing the pursuit, so. Nothing I can do about that. I haven't even had to deal with anything pursuit related in years at this point. So, good prep on him. I'm going to Toxic here, though. Anything is nice. Slow King means I just go Bronzong. I need that horse alive, though, because that horse is still my win con, especially if his team is chipped because he has no cleric. So if the Spiritomb is chipped, if Diancie's chipped, if Glashrier, especially Glashrier and Donphan are chipped, Spectrier will just win with Scarf. So, I mean, Hylian is playing well, but I think we're both playing well right now. So I need this Toxic for some valuable chip and to figure out which things are lefties and which aren't. I know for a fact Donphan has no item, Zara or is probably boots or something. I know this. I have no clue what this thing's item is. We know Diancie doesn't have one. But this is a good toxic here. <sighs> rocks? I don't I really don't think rocks are it. They helped chip last year. If it, like if Don Fan dies, I can click rocks. But I don't want Don Fan to have a reason to come in and click its own rocks. So I'm just gonna play without them for right now until Don Fan's dead. Hylian is taking mad long, though. Like, I... <laughs> it's taking an extremely long time. <laughs> Last year, big toxic. All right, what are we seeing out of this thing? Nothing. Um, let me check what Last year gets again. It gets superpower. Uh, and to be NCC. To be honest, he probably brought that. So I don't feel safe going into Audino right now. Do I call his bluff? Hold on. This is about to be massive cock play right here. Do I predict him clicking a fighting type move? Him taking Rocky Helmet plus Rough Skin Chip and then dying to Toxic? Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin are 16 each. So I'll put him at 68. I don't think he dies. That would be such a good turn. But this is definitely a fighting type move. And I know for a fact, Spectre does not kill it. So this is an issue. Because Bronzong doesn't have anything to hit this back with. Because of Heavy Slam. And Autono is about to die. Switching into this move. Yeah, Audino doesn't have the Chopple Bear anymore. So, Audino's about to take 70%. Um, I think I still switch it in. Then protect the next turn to check intentions. And then see what I can do, because it'll regenerate the health back. Hmm. Does he click the Ice move? I think he clicks the Fighting type move. So, I really want to click Stone Edge right now. But losing my Garchomp would be stupid. But I really want to click Stone Edge right now. Like, I have zero reason to stay in. But I really want to click Stone Edge right now. Like, why can't I switch in Charizard, actually? Oh, this is the last turn of Sun. But, like, Charizard can switch into a CC. And he can click Fire Blast not in the Sun. Like, this is a CC. I can switch to Charizard right now. And then he actually doesn't like Charizard. Oh, no. Because if I bring in Charizard, he just goes hard slow king. Um... <laughs> I really want to click Stone Edge right now. I really, really want to click it. But if I lose Garchomp like that, that would be so stupid. 
but this is very clearly a fighting type move predicting Autono to come in. But I'm going to do it anyway. He clicked Iron Defense. I should have really clicked Stone Edge. That's Body Press. This is Iron Defense Body Press. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This just got really serious. That's my least favorite set in any game in the history of the fucking game. And he's about to click fucking body press. Um, hold on. Shit just got real. Okay. He's plus two defense, body pressed up. He's about to click this shit. I have to go hard Charizard. I really don't have any other option. Yeah, I have to go hard Charizard on this thing. I have no other option. Right? Right? I mean, he, he's going for the sweep too early. Because he's toxic, and I have something to deal with it. Like, he's going for this too early, I think. Like, I just go hard Charizard here. Because he doesn't have a coverage move to catch me lacking, does he? No. He doesn't have a rock-type move. I just go hard Charizard and scare this out. What? And he went for this too early. My Charizard's going to be chipped, but... It's not going to do anything. I think I have to click Fire Blast here. I don't have any way to kill the Slow King. To be quite honest. I have knockoff on B Drill. That's what I might have to do. I think he's gonna go Slow King right now. Right? Does B Drill live one anyways? Yeah. But he doesn't stay in after this. He know Zard outspeeds him. And he knows Zard kills him with a fire blast. Unless he's fucking Oh no, hold on. Like he's not max but F. So he very clearly goes into like Slow King right now. To eat this fucking fire blast. So I'm gonna go B drill. But I'd just rather this thing dead. He doesn't want to give this Charizard a kill, though. I know that. And he needs to preserve this for his 5 0. He's going Slow King. Yeah. Red like a book. Red like a book. Red like a book. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Before I get ahead of myself, before I get ahead of myself and click a move that Beedrill might just die on a fucking Slow King in. Hold on. He has any psychic type move, he dies. I mean, to be to be honest, he dies to U-turn right now. So he has no purpose to stay in. I get a free pivot on anything I want. Free U-turn. Um, I, the, the switch to slow king there was very obvious. And now Glastrier is chipped. Perfect, and it's toxic. So zero or is at fifty. Glastrier is at fifty. Did we just play the what can we chip game? It's really all we can do. We know, now we know that's Iron Defense, B-Press, Glastrier. I could see that being Akaberry. I'm actually... No, he would have stayed in if he was Akaberry. So, Rockberry maybe? Maybe he's also Chopple? I don't know what Glastrier could be. Um, I think Zara or is either Scarf or Boots. Zara, Scarf Zara is very probable to try and outspeed the Spectrier. So, Scarf, or Scarf Zara is possible. Donphan has no item. I have no clue what the fuck Spiritomb is. Probably just lefties or like black glasses or something. I know it's not anything attack boosting. Oh. This Sloking has defense investment. Uh, That's upsetting. But. That means. it. That means the Sloking's defensive. But Bronzong still doesn't kill it with Grass Knot. Because it's at 27. Fuck. Um, what do I have to kill this thing? Is it 27? Uh, ought to know. Has knockoff. But no. It, it's. Jeez. What was it? Do you have to be max defense to live that? 
Yeah, he had to be max defense plus defense nature. Yeah. About to do 73. So he has no spadef investment. We know that for a fact now. He's max defense, max HP. Uh, I have to go Zard. But if he clicks Ice Beam... Alright, if he clicks Ice Beam... Garchomp is still not dead. Uh, Autono can't kill it. Autono can toxic it. Autono cannot kill it, though. Bronzong cannot kill it. Actually, no. Bronzong has a chance to kill it now. No, it doesn't. Uh, Charizard does not want to switch into this thing. Air Slash kills it, though. But did he click a water move? Did he click Scald on my Beedrill? I feel like you might have clicked Scald. All no safest play, we go on now. Future Sight, that's fine. Uh, this is a knockoff. It's a knockoff. Dragon Tail Future Sight, interesting. This is a knockoff, though. Does he go back in the glass rear? That's what I want to know. This video is going to be so long. It's going to be so long. It, we're on turn 14, and this has already been a half hour. <laughs> this man, it's like this man is getting up to take a piss in between each turn. Let's go hard bronze on what? Bruh. <laughs> Who wants a heavy slam? Who wants to take a heavy slam? No one. Anyone volunteering to catch this heavy slam to the face? Slow King? Be my guest. Do you have a fire type move, is my question. I guess we'll find out. Um, Like, if, if he has flamethrower, hypothetically, it does nothing. And I just grass on it. Spirit Tomb? Okay. Oh, I just let Spirit Tomb come in and pursue this for free. Uh, okay. Time to figure out what the fuck we do now. Um, how am I killing the Spirit Tomb? Because, like, it's max attack. I'm pretty sure it was adamant. It was, but it wasn't banded. So, this is going to do a lot to Bronzong. This is about to do a lot of damage to Bronzong. But what do I have to kill this? I have to go B drill. Yeah, Pursuit, whatever, yada, 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 55%. Another U turn. Again, he doesn't have a Slow King to switch on, he doesn't have much to switch in on these. Um, Beedrill U-turn is going to do like 50 to 60. Okay, I also did 55 to Bronzong. So he's not even adamant. Or he doesn't, he's not max attack. So Beedrill clicks U-turn here again. Which is fine. Because now I have Audino. I have Audino. Uh, does he go back to Glass Shear? Is my question. Or can I just knock him off? Spirit Tomb cannot do, like, anything to Audino. So, he could go Diancie, actually. Did he come in on... 
He went on a Diancy last time. He, he knows I only have Wish and Knockoff. Um, and Diancy is not yet Magic Bounce, actually. I'm going to Wish. Zero Aura. Interesting. I know the Zero Aura is not banded. So I don't know what it thinks it's going to do with this auto now. Besides maybe click bulk up. It knocked off my non-existent item. And there's its scarf gone. Beautiful! Beautiful! Scarf is gone! Bye-bye, scarf! Bye-bye! Bye-bye, scarf! Okay. That was a great turn. Bye-bye, scarf is a great turn. Because that lets Spectrier click a button on Zara Aura for free. Zero Aura just knocked off an item that's not there. Uh, toxic? What's he going to do? Click Volt Switch now? Is he, is he going to panic? Is he going to try and panic pivot now? Because if he can try and panic pivot, I'm going to go hard Garchomp. If he's going to attempt to panic pivot. Because Spiritomb is chipped, Glacier is chipped, Zero Aura is chipped, and Slowking is chipped. Hmm. I also want to click Toxic. Because he could go Donphan. Toxic, I think... Uh, I could also click Wish again. And try and get Bronzong back in. Spiritomb being chipped is huge, though. I almost have what it takes for Spectre or Sweep. Almost. Beedrill is also very close to running the table with... Uh, P-Jab. P-Jab can at least kill three things right now. Um, What's the play here? Do I go Toxic? Do I go Hard Garchomp? I could even go Charizard right now, to be quite honest. Um, Not on Slow King, though. Hmm. I could go for the Air Slash Flinch. Uh... He might just Volt Switch here. But into what? Glass Rear again? Oh yeah, okay. I don't know what item this thing has. And I already know it has Body Press. So... It's got Body Press... Max defense. It still does nothing to auto now. <laughs> which is hilarious. So I'm just going to knock it off. Because I know I can regen whatever happens, I think. Or I could wish into Bronza. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to be plus two after this turn, right? We know Charizard can take one. Bronzong cannot, which is the sad part. Charizard can, though. He's not going to drop down to 43. Fuck! Toxic does what, 12% this turn? I just need him to come in, like, one more time, and I can get him. Do I knock him off? I don't see any point of knocking him off. I have to go a hard Charizard right now, right? Oh, no, but Slowking's gonna come in at such a high percent. And I know it has no Spadef. Another thing is probably, like, max HP... Fuck, Spectrier. Why are you low-key weak right now? Um, He could Icicle Crash my Charizard. He could very well click Icicle Crash right now. And get a high roll and kill my Charizard. I 
This is a dip this is an interesting turn. He's clicking iron defense here, right? It's my only option to kill this thing once it starts setting up his fucking Charizard. Even if I have to sack something. It's going hard, Charizard. Good. Good! Now he's at 45%, which is a huge percentage range. Right? Huge percentage range. Sadly, I still have to click Fire Blast. I think this man has to go Slow King right now again. He fell for this last time. And even if he goes for Body Press right now, Beedrill lives one. Like, for free. I think he has to go back to Slow King. And then sack something new turn. It's another tricky 50-50. Because he's not going to let this Glass Shrier die. Don fan this time. He's about to get rocks up. Uh, fuck. <laughs> not good. He finally brought in Don fan. I have to go through turn again. But... 59% is a big percent, actually. I did a lot. Hold on. Calc this. Calc this. 49%. That's no HP. Or 41%. No, that's max HP. Yeah, that's like a mid that's like a mid max HP roll. Okay. He clicked rocks here. We know he has superpower. Spectre has a good chance. Seventy percent chance to kill. Charizard has an even better chance. Especially if I click Fire Blast. Um, to be honest, the safer options are auto know. Because if I could toxic this, you can click superpower on it though. I think I just have to admit that the rocks are going to get up. Or I can bring in Charizard before they get up. Him not bringing Spadef on Slow King is actually going to bite him in the ass eventually. I can also try and 1v1 him with Garchomp. But if he has Ice Shard, that's not going to happen. But if he clicks Rocks here, I get a free EQ. Dunk Shot. That's not how that works. Click Ice Shard, boy. Click Ice Shard, my man. Click Ice Shard. Slow King. Cool. I don't think this Donfin has rocks. Is this an Ice Beam? What's stopping me from just going hard Beedrill here again? Besides him clicking Ice Beam. Ugh. I'm getting tired of calking, man. Ice Beam does nothing to Beedrill. Or is he clicking Scald? He might have Ice Beam. He probably has Ice Beam. And I'm pissed that the Spectre is at 5%. Beedrill, please no burn. Do I have to risk the Scald burn right now? Do I have to risk the Scald burn? Or do I think he's clicking Ice Beam? Even if he does, we know he has no special attack. It actually doesn't kill my Garchomp if he clicks Ice Beam. 
And I low key, not low key, but I low key don't need Chomp anymore. Because Zero's chipped. And it does nothing to the rest of this team, to be honest. That would be Spirit Tomb and kill Spirit Tomb. That's really it, though. I'm going to call his bluff and pray for no Scald Burn. Yeah. We live in. We live in. We live in. We're going to play the fun game that I like to call Pick a Sack. That's why we calc, guys. That's why we run max HP Garchomp. Now I get to click EQ. Now something has to die. He brings in Don Fan. This just screams, I have Ice Shard. Now, if he wants his Don Fan to live, he has to click Ice Shard here. But look at this team. Look at how chipped this fucking team is. Does Diancy get two code? By Spectre yet? No. This team is beautifully chipped. This team is masterfully chipped. Okay? I'm just gonna say this. Good job on me for chipping this fucking team. Like, holy shit. Did he click an ice shard? I mean, he came in to click ice shard. I don't really see anything else he came in here to do. Unless he clicked EQ right here. No, I clicked Gunk Shot. What is he doing? I think I just have to click U-Turn. As much as it's lame, I have to click it. Yeah. Here comes the Diancy. He should have clicked P-Jab, but it's whatever. Really should have clicked you Really should have clicked P-Jab there. But it would have done nothing. Like, honestly, it would have done nothing. I just need to make this thing Mega Evolve. I also have Odd now. I think I have to go Bronze on. Bronze on's back in. Does it kill Spirit Tomb on the Switch? Hell no, no, it doesn't. What have I seen out of this thing? Rock polish? Do I just double back in the B drill? Or do I go into like Zard right now? I can't give Slow King a reason to come back in. Ooh, I should double back in the B drill when Spirit Tomb comes in. Or do I stack Bronze on? Slow King should can only come in one more time, or Spirit or Spectre is not killing it. Oh no, Beedrill can kill it. Um I can call Spirit Tomb's bluff and think it doesn't have Shadow Sneak. Oh, he's got Mystical Fire. Okay. I forced him to Mega though. He's mega now. Which means Poison Jab kills. It's literally all I have going for me. This being Mega is huge now. I don't care that Bronzong died. Finally, I could say something died, too. Jesus Christ. But... Um... I just go Beedrill now, and I can pretty freely click whatever I want. I can pretty, yeah, I can pretty freely cook whatever I want. I mean, that's nice and all, but now this thing takes more damage. And it dies in this P-Jab. And then everything else dies. <laughs> Team is still masterfully chipped, though. I just need things to happen properly. For either Charizard. I 
I just click P jab again. What are you going to do to stop me from clicking P jab again? And then keep clicking it until the game's over. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's time for Pedro to clean. Oh, it's time for Pedro to clean. What are you going to do when I'm clicking P jab on your whole team now? Because I just chipped your whole team. Beedrill just cleans you with P-Jab now. Except he could bring Slow King back in. But P-Jab does 42% to Slow King. Oh, is he going to play this right? He brought on Glastrier. I was wrong. That's not how this works. Glastrier is in. On my B drill. P jab. This is max defense. I mean, I'm guessing max HP. Yeah, P jab does not kill. P jab. Yeah, it does not kill. I have to click U turn, which fucking blows. It fucking blows. I have to click U turn. As much as I don't want to, it's a 29%. about what i'm expecting what did this fucking horse click because garchomp still outspeeds things so i need it charizard still outspeeds things so i need it i could just go auto no here does he click iron defense or do you click an offensive move i go auto no That's horrifically bad. It's Resto Chesto Glastrier. So I need Slow King to die. Really fucking badly. Because then if I don't kill Slow King, I can't kill this thing. Now the Bronzong's dead. I don't have a fucking Diancy switch in. Uh, Icicle Spear. Of course it gets five hits, too. Um, I click wish. Oh, do I click wish? He's, yeah, he could just keep clicking Icicle Spear. Yeah, it does nothing, my guy. That does nothing. What is Spiritomb going to do? As Pursuit. Yes. But what is Spiritomb... Pursuit going to do to Audino? Is he th I think he thinks he's conditioning me. Objection. I might have to sack something. I think if I have to sack something... I sack Chump. Glass is a problem. Like, actually. I think I lose this glass year, to be honest. But he's going to have to let something else die, I think. Uh, do I sack Chomp? Because I need to keep Audino alive. Pursuit. Like, what else does he have to hit my Audino? Sucker Punch? Toxic. Rock Tomb. I'll just click Wish again. Now we have a problem. There is officially now a problem. <sighs> I have to.
to sack Chomp. Yeah, I have to sack Chomp. Looky Q, he has to kill me. I lose now. I lose now. That's game, actually. Yeah, GG. That's a clean sweep with, Di with Diancy. Yeah, because I can't kill it with Audino. Fuck! I'm pissed, man. Yeah, because Spectre does not speed this. Yeah. 5 0 man. Like. Diamond Storm is a risk there. Could have lost by clicking Diamond Storm. Could have lost by clicking Diamond Storm. Of course he fucking 5 0s me. I had his entire team chipped. Man. This battle took over an hour. Just for me to get fucking cleaned by Rock Polish Diancy. Oh, Christ. Yeah. That's aggravating. That's aggravating. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, it, it just all came crashing down all in an instant. I couldn't kill the Glastrier, and then I couldn't kill the Slow King. Uh, I made a bunch of really good plays there, to be quite honest. But I thought I was outchipping him, but he actually outchipped me just barely like we were in a massive chip race i thought i was winning the chip race turns out i did not win the chip race uh yet again hylian bests me uh in the regular season handily i just can't beat that man in the regular season and that's a 5-0 he he worked hard uh, I'm about to drop this uh, Charizard down. I'm about to do it live, actually. Um, doing it right now. Charizard T4 for Typhlosion. T4. Done. Um, feel bad for spooks. Uh, I was playing too scared around Don Fan, I think. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, no one ever listens to these post-game thoughts anyway. Uh, I'm just going to end it here. Um, I did ramble a little bit, did a little stuff live. I probably just cut to this. This video probably took insanely long for me to edit anyway. Recording this, I haven't even edited the Tyler video, actually. So, yeah, fuck that. 5-0 um, loss sucks. Um, we're, I think we're 2-1 and one with a minus 2 differential now. Uh, and we have Yeroon next week, so we might drop the 2-2, two and two, but I'm not going to let that tilt me. Uh, I'm pretty proud of the three games I've played, to be quite honest. I think I've played, I played solidly. Hylene also played very solidly this game. I'll hand it to him. He played solidly. We both just played solidly. It just shook out to where I lost the chip race. It'd be like that, but I'm very proud with the three games I've put out so far. So, I'm not mad at that. I've been having fun what i've wanted i wasn't having much fun last season but i'm having fun again i'm having fun with these mons these mons are fun to use really fit my play style i actually put audino to work that game shout out to audino uh i thought beedrill had that clean beedrill did not have that clean i really need to re i really need to work on thinking about late game win cons but nonetheless this recording is over an hour i will try and cut it down as much as physically possible but until next week peace